You ready, math? Yeah, you guys all got to pretend that you've never heard of this mod before. We got to have... I'm going to be like, wow, this mod's amazing, you know? Yeah, you'll see, you'll see. You guys got to react like you've never seen this before. You guys got to be like... You guys got to have genuine reactions. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Kevin's good. Oh, my God. This, this, this is what I need you guys to put in the chat. This is it. This is the comment. Thank you, Kevin. That's it. That's the comment. <laughs> Perf per per perfection. Do we put cap? Do we put Kappa Gen or no Kappa Gen? I can't decide. Kappa Gen, please. All right. Oh god, you, you guys better not spam. All right, not too much spam. All right. <laughs> okay. I can't. I, I feel like John. We're not ready for this. I feel like we have to just do it like in. in. <laughs> Wait. Why did we just start? Okay, I need to warm into this here. All right, not to be trusted. I'm I'm banning that. <laughs> All right. Hello there, and welcome to a mod showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at a showcase by Math zero four two four who has a spray paint mod. And I have saw sort of teased this for a while, but I'm really excited to finally see this for myself in game. So let's have a little look here. Welcome to the spray mod tour. For now, okay, let's see. <laughs> We're gonna turn off the, uh, the Kappa Gen here. For now, follow the lines. Don't try opening anything yet. Sprays of your own will be later, okay. So already on the floor, we can see that there is arrows, which are a block. They are actually a decal painted onto the block. And it's actually better shown here with a diagonal version of that same arrow uh, back there. <laughs> ah, all right, forget it. <laughs> we'll just have to take the stream, John. <laughs> Return to usual, hold on. Wait, we'll just cut that. Just cut that out. Cut all, cut, cut all this out. Don't cut this part. All right, you guys choose. <laughs> so, as you can see, yeah, this is the same uh, version of this, but a, a, a diagonal uh, direction here. And smaller version here, so decorative. <gasps> and here we go. We come into this room. Let's have a look. Oh, my We've got clang warnings on the engines wrapped around the model. We have an ID on the side there, 56R. We have some more decals insignia here. We have as well Keen Software House logo. And all of these are actually wrapped around the models here. This is crazy. So it's actually weird seeing this so flawlessly here because really this is something that math has teased for ages. So to actually see it here like in my own game is, is crazy actually. But yeah, no, I, the, the amount of uh, kind of customization this can add is, is crazy. On the back, we've also got a couple of crosses here. On the front here, this is actually a gold line. It's actually uh, a paint line that's down the center of a block, but isn't the full block. So even this itself is actually a decal. It's, it's great to see that like as well, not as a block. And it means you can also have stuff more tightly packed together. So let's uh, move on then from this ship showcase here. To the left, we've got ourselves the Space Engineers logo, again, on a small grid uh, placed there. Oh, hold on, mirror? Wait, have I missed something? Wait, what? You aren't real. Hmm. This is also a decal because you can see here, this is a standard armor block. And then there's this wraparound mirror decal on the block here. So let's move on now. Okay, next up, spray mod comes with no sprays. 
it requires that you get spray add-ons. That These can be generated using the tool that I made and can be found on the workshop page of the mod, but it's not available right now because Keen decal bug. Here is a room called Any Surface, and I assume this is gonna be basically showing us how it really, wait, what? Okay, this is interesting. Well, you can see here, it's just basically, it's a block combination. You can see how this is like a, a whole kind of different blocks that don't quite fit together, but the, the decals continue over the splits, right? The Keen logo maybe should as well. I'm not sure if the Keen logo should be also be on the other side. Maybe that was a, a glitch there, but in general, you can see where it's going. Uh, <laughs> And down the, okay, down here we have, okay, let's come down to here first. We've got the glorious leader of Keen Software House, Marek Rosa. I would like to see this wrapped around a block and the Keen Software House logo there as well. So look, I can walk on this. I mean, not, let's, let's, we can walk here I and mean, not within gravity. But the point is, it's just showing these are completely flat here against the wall. But you guys can already start to, from the ship, uh, and even this, you guys can see the potential of um, what this mod can add. All right, so over here. Well, okay, this is trying it ourselves on the wall. We're going to do some graffiti. But let's first come over here and do unlimited quality. Okay, we're going to continue. <laughs> now try it yourself. Press shift and I. Okay, that looks different. Oh, I see. Yeah, shift the one next to Z. <gasps> and over here, we've got the sprays toolkit. And this is a, a, a totally custom GUI that Mass made. So it's amazing to see that come up on the side like that. And I can walk around, I can have a look through this. And then F is to flip the spray, hold shift for smaller increments, hold alt for even smaller increments, open chat and press F1 to configure. Everything is safe. Wow, look at this. So this here, I mean, even this is crazy. I've got a HUD here, which I can move around, but this is awesome. I mean, the feeling of moving around a HUD screen in, in Space Engineers is crazy. So yeah, this has got some binds here. Toggle terminal. Oh, here we go. Now I can access the spray starter pack. You can see arrows, checks, circles, clang, eggplant, googly eye, howl 9000, meat battery, nose art. We've got camos, just basically kind of random shapes here, but you can imagine these applied and made different sizes and wrapped around a grid. Can You can have some really crazy combinations of this. <laughs> DLC warnings. You, they got them all. Warning Keenery. <laughs> Warning Keenery. Um, mm. So this is just the set. And you guys can, of course, add your own add-ons, right? So this is it. This, this, I actually have an add-on in this world, which has this selection. But you guys will have to kind of import your own selections. And you can make your own decals with the tool that Math has created. So this is the change in the spray size. There's the eraser for, eraser for getting rid of the sprays. We can search menu, single mode, refresh sprays. And you can see in total, we've got nine folders, 203 sprays, and this mod, of course, by Math0424. Search is there. Oh, okay, that's why I, I have to get rid of search. But now, that's what comes up. And you can imagine if you have many, many sprays, you can imagine uh, this can be really useful to have the uh, this search function. So I think the, the GUI is amazing and it's, it's awesome that a mod's been able to do such a kind of intuitive uh, mod, uh, menu like this. So I think it's time for us to actually select our spray. So let's let's start with a clang icon. Oh, I clicked it in there. Hold on, get out the chat. And I just placed it. There we go. I didn't mean to place it, but there it is on the wall. But hold on a second here. So there it is. And then to rotate it, there it is. So, right. So now using the scroll wheel, you can see I can flip it. And actually now I can exit the chat and look how it sticks to the surface here, guys, as I walk around. You don't have to be stuck in the chat. So you can actually walk around 
And now that kind of looks weird, but I bet you if I spray this and use the left click or right click, you can actually see how it's wrapped around the corner. I don't, I'm not sure why that why it's cut off here particularly. I mean, this is still a kind of early on in that sense. So I'm not sure if there is some, oh, I'm there. I'm not sure what, what's upset this here, but on, in a lot of places it will work just fine. Spray size here. It, ah, there it is. So you have like a scale one, two, three. So if we do spray size three and then do clang again, exit out of chat. And there we have it because it's much, much bigger now. Again, we can rotate it. I can be more refined of it and then right click. Now it's in, it's, it's, it's good that, and now it kind of reflects the lighting in the world. Like what the, the previews like fully lit, but the versions that you see, they're just, uh, yeah, they're just previews. If I do control shift plus or minus, aha. So you can, that's how you do it on the fly. So you don't have to open that. And now you can run around and you can see how it's on the floor and even put that on the mirror there, for example. You can see how it, it would be over the edges. It's kind of 2D right now. But if I place this, there we go. It's actually wrapped over the end of the nose and probably underneath. Yeah, underneath as well. Amazing stuff. It just works. There you go. Sprays also work with copy and paste, blueprints, workshop, and projections. Keen also broke the ability to see sprays in the grid preview projections or pace a rip i can't okay okay so before you go each spray has optional values such as admin only promotion level okay uh three or higher can place the sprays and they can also appear the red border but admins can set this okay can be hidden, can't see in the folder view, need the exact match, not case sensitive in the search menu, appear with a green border. And a hidden spray example, open the search menu in the toolbar and search SCP-1471. So again, I can open this, I can do that. I can come to the toolkit. And if I go to the search and exactly type SCP, okay, nothing there one four seven one and there we go just in case you needed to find that particular spray i not want to judge maybe you do right so that is the end i've been removed from the world now <laughs> the only thing missing from this showcase is a rickroll at this point i mean <laughs> Uh, what happens to the decal when the block is damaged? It's a good question. Here we go. Damage is now on. So let's have a look. Okay. So the block blew out and it's all been deformed, but it still has the edges around it where it was left. So let me actually go in the middle here of this one. That's actually pretty sick. Look at that. So it actually deforms the shape there. But... The decal actually, oh wow. So to some degree, the decal actually follows the deformation. At some point it breaks and disappears, but actually it works pretty good. I, I honestly feel like it works as good as it would need, ever need to work. That's, that's a whole, that's one big block there. That's not a good idea. Okay. Well, that's a good point actually. This is like large grid. It looks, it works well on small grid because the size of the decals. Large grid, you can see here, it's a bit different because it's, it's probably placed on one or two blocks. So it's it's not, how about this one here? It's just like a logo. It's still okay, you know. Maybe it could come in, but yeah. The, if you scratch it, maybe the, the paint's been scratched or something, right? That's about it. Pepe Sip, fix decals keen. All right, ma'am. Well, I think this showcase really uh, highlights to a lot of people who maybe not have, have saw this mod in its kind of uh, development stage uh, and they can kind of see how powerful this could be. And I'll, honestly, Math, I think you've done a fantastic job. I really hope Keen can take a look at this and yeah, give you some feedback, you know, on um, their thoughts on it. But honestly, Math, That's, that's, that's the clap for this awesome, awesome stuff. Have you guys watched the new YouTube video? Have you also liked, commented, and subscribed, okay? Hit that bell notification, okay?
I'm just thinking, is it, it's just so, I literally said, I literally said like 10 minutes ago, all this showcase is missing is a Rickroll. 